is general reading. This may or may not present. Okay. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. All right. Overall energy, we have the Six of Cups. This is the current situation. So I feel there's someone from your past who's coming back. If not, you're reminiscing the past or they're reminiscing the past, okay? But both of you all feel a strong soul tie connection to each other. With the soulmate energy, there could be a significant difference between you guys. It could be age, religion, place, um, uh, the way you guys grow up, anything, all right? Everything. So yeah, but if someone's reminiscing the past or you're both missing each other. With the Two of Cups in reverse here, there is a lot of love between you guys, okay, Leo? But on your mind, you're feeling disconnected. You guys are not seeing eye to eye. And uh, you probably feel that you guys don't share the same goal anymore. Or the relationship is just completely gone south. With the star here, this person is healing, I feel, on the other side. And I think this person has a lot of hope and faith that things are going to be okay. And they have trust in divine connection. They have, they have trust in the divine. They have faith. That things will be okay they're going to wait patiently for things to be okay um and they're letting the universe take control okay of the situation but with the star here also this person feels this is something very destined very fated and at the same time they look at you as a star also is what i'm saying they're putting you on a pedestal which is so cool right with the devil here in your emotions i think you feel very stuck tied and bound with this person okay it is a toxic relationship but you're obsessed either you're obsessing over this person okay or you're just too attracted about this person but at the same time you feel you just cannot let this person go okay there's a strong soul cult connection which is there with the six of cups but again there has been something toxic between you guys because of which with the devil in your it's in your emotions okay so i'm getting you're obsessed with this person okay okay you're obsessively thinking about this person. But yeah, you cannot get rid of this person no matter what you do. With the Queen of Wands and their emotions, they look at you as someone either badass, someone who's just hot shit, okay? They're very attracted to you, very passionate about you. Or this is just them who's just... Uh, I'm feeling that this is how they feel about you, okay? They're just wanting to come towards you. But the Queen of Wands here, it's like, this is the Queen of Action, okay? Someone who just wants to take action. She's got that corporate vibe. She's got that confidence. Or this is how they look at you as someone who's very, very confident in their power, all right? But the Eight of Wands here is the mutual energy. You both want communication forward, okay? You could be living at a distance from this person. It could be online communication. It could be an online relationship. In your attitude towards this person, I don't think you're making any move towards this person right now, okay? There's a lot of re-evaluation and, and a lot of, um, yeah. So with the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel there's a lot of re-evaluation here. I feel you're very still uh, invested. You're quite invested into, the, in the, into this relationship. But I think you're contemplating on how to move things forward, okay? I don't think anyone's walked away here. Yes, there could be a disconnection between you guys, okay? Yeah, you guys have parted ways, but not like for good. Okay, because there is a reconciliation coming in, okay? But you, on the other hand, you're just thinking, uh, I mean, I am obsessed with this person, but right now we're not on the same page. What do I do? Should I invest? Should I not invest? Should I make a move? Should I not make a move? I think you're being very extremely patient with the progress. On their side, with the temperance in reverse here, they're not uh, being patient at all, Okay. They're going batshit crazy. This person is not wanting to compromise, not wanting to cooperate. They're not being cool, calm, collected. And this person is like, you know what? I don't know what I want, but I want it now. You know, it's that kind of an energy, okay? They're just going completely nuts. They're losing patience. They're lacking patience, okay? Logically, yes, they are. Probably by their mind, okay? Probably this is something that, you know what? Logically, you try to show, I mean, people that, oh yeah, I'm all cool, calm, collected, okay? But in the end, in that attitude with the temperance and reverse here, I think they're not good. They just want it now. More than now, I just think they don't know how to get you. Because they look at you as a queen of wands. <laughs> then we'll enter first. Okay. Okay, we'll see why the ace of cups in reverse, okay? Alright, let's that right. Why is the current situation the six of cups? Why is the current situation the six of cups? You have a lot of temperance out here. Wait for divine timing, okay? Guys, wait. It'll happen. But it, divine timing is not our timing, right? It's going to happen when it's supposed to happen, okay? So if you're going to try and force it, it's not going to happen. All right, so just wait. And with the temperance here, this is going to take a lot of time. Something's going to take a lot of patience, okay? If you have it, then wait for this person to come in. 
Why is it two of cups in reverse? Ace of swords in reverse. You're cutting communication with this person. Either you think this person is a liar or cheater, which I don't really feel is, but I feel one of you, either there's absolutely no communication between you guys, or there's someone here who's withholding information or someone who's just not being clear about what they want. Why is Ace of swords in reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse. I think because of this person's attitude, right? I think you've given up. I don't think you're wanting to fight for this relationship anymore. Again, because this person could be someone who lied to you or someone who's very manipulative or someone who's just, you know, constantly manipulating you or someone you know, who's keeping you in the dark is also your concern, okay? And I think with the Seven of Wands in reverse, you're giving up. You have no more fight left. Why is the star here? Queen of Cups in reverse. But this person has a lot of hope and faith, but they feel that you're holding back from them. They feel you're suppressing your emotions with the Queen of Cups here, or this is this person suppressing their emotions. But someone's very hurt here. Someone's choosing to detach themselves from the situation temporarily. And probably wanting to give things time. But they have faith. But probably this person, logically, they think that, you know what, the best is to detach themselves from the situation in order for them to get clarity about where the situation is going, okay? This person could be someone with a queen of cups, you're very intuitive, someone who always follows psychic guidance, but again, at the same time, this, one, this is someone who has a lot of unconditional love, okay, towards the other person. But now they're shut off. They're being very cold and detached, and it's almost like they're not wanting to show you what they really feel. That's what I'm getting what is the Queen of Cups in reverse here? Yeah, so logically, probably this person could be coming out as someone very cold, but they're just three of points. They're waiting. They're waiting for you to come back to them. They're waiting for you to come back to them. They want to, although they want to, but they're just going to wait. They're going to shut down their emotions and they're going to wait, come, wait for you to come back to them. Oh, I'm all these. You, on the other hand, they have the souls in reverse. So I don't think you're even wanting to compete or wanting to talk to this person. You guys are not seeing eye to eye right now. Something just happened. But they're waiting, okay? That's for sure. They're waiting for you to come towards them. Whilst they have to stay there in hope. And you on the other hand, I think with the Ace of Swords in reverse here, I think you are like, nope, the communication is not coming from my side. Because I think you could have wanted to fight for this relationship for a very long time, but now you've already given up. Probably there was a lot of lying, deceitfulness, or just deception. Why is the devil here? Eight of Cups to stay up. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Seven of Swords. See? You're trying to get away from this connection. With the Seven of Swords here. I think you're trying to be very... You're, someone, you're being very deceptive right now, okay? Probably you're trying to cut communication with this person or whatever, right? But with the seven of swords and the devil here, this is someone who's just, I think you're, they're doing the same thing, you're doing the same thing. I think with the seven of swords, you have a lot of obsession with this person, okay? But I think you're trying to withhold your feelings. You're trying to suppress your feelings, just like what they're doing. Why is the seven of swords here? Ace of pentacles. See, that's exactly what I said. You're just, you're putting up a show, Virgo. If this is not you, this is the other person, right? The person on this side, in your emotions, you're obsessed. You want this connection as bad as they do. But with the Seven of Swords, you're being very deceptive. You're completely hiding your emotions. You're trying to run away. You're trying to, you know, it's like that self-denial thing, okay? But with the Ace of Pentacles, you 100% want this new beginning with this person. You want something solid, something stable with this person. But you're just not being open about your emotions. See, again. You, you, you're not talking. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? King of Cups. See? This person loves you very, very much. They're just not the best person at expressing their emotions, okay? They're very mature. They're, uh, we have the King and Queen, so this is a true pair, right? But it's almost like... I feel like you're the king of cups and they know that you love them very much, but they can literally make out that you're trying to hide your feelings. You're trying to run away from your feelings or you're just trying to avoid or ignore this connection or trying to run away. But at the same time, you want this. And with the king of cups, they 100% they know that you love them a lot. You're just not showing it. And with the queen of love, look at this, queen of wands, 
She's literally watching the King of Cups, right? He's like, I know, I know you love me, but you're just not gonna say it. You're just gonna play hard to get. The world, this person wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? This is shutting an old cycle and starting a brand new cycle. This person, you and this person have successfully completed a cycle, you've learned your lessons, and now this person wants to start a brand new chapter with you. Okay. What is the eight of wands? What is the eight of wands? You're the one, Virgo. You're the one who's trying to run away, or you're the one who's trying to just suppress your feelings, is what I'm getting. Page of Cups in reverse. So, yes, someone is just constantly. This is the Page of Cups in reverse, two things. One, someone very emotion, emotionally immature, but also at the same time, this is someone, you know what, who's trying to see things from a very realistic point of view. Okay. Someone who does not want to live in that dreamy world anymore. Someone who sees things very practically and someone who sees things for what they are. And I think that's what you're doing, Virgo. You're not wanting to communicate with this person. Although the, the emotions is there, okay, the intention is there, but you're not. You want everything with this person. Okay? But you're trying to sneak away. You're trying to get the easy way out. Whilst this person, they know, okay, they want this new chapter with you. But I think they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to open up, to come towards them. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Magician. Why is the Magician here? Why is the Magician here? Wheel of Fortune and Reverse. So what I'm getting is that, uh, like I said, right, you're very invested, okay? You're quite invested into this connection and you're waiting and watching, right? With the magician here, you feel you have everything that it needs to make this happen. But with the wheel of fortune and reversing, I think that you're not seeing something change. You're not seeing that drastic change. You know, you want and you want a very drastic change to happen, but it's still not happening. I think the timing is off, okay? But understand something with that, when the wheel of fortune and reverse is here, right? You're trying to fight against the current course of action that the universe is trying to take, okay? You want to go this way, but the universe is probably going this way, okay? Maybe they're going to take a detour and come back to where your goal is. The wheel of fortune and reverse to me is a card where, yes, initially, it doesn't take you, it doesn't take you directly to your goal. It doesn't give you exactly what you want. Maybe it takes a detour. Okay. Maybe it takes some time. Okay. And it's just going to go like that, like that, and then go there. And you don't see that because for you, the correct road is there. That's it. From here to here. And that's it. That's my destination. This is a blessing in disguise right now. If things are not going in your favor, we'll go. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Maybe there's still something that you need to work on or maybe you need to learn your lessons for now, okay? Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is also a karmic situation. Either you're stuck in a karmic situation, they're stuck in a karmic situation and they can't do anything about it, okay? But again, um, you probably, yes, you feel that you can make things happen, okay? You have the power, you have everything, you want to take action. But again, you just feel that the timing is off and uh, there's this... Um, you're, you're being very contradictory to what you want. With the magician, you want things, okay? With the seven of pentacles, you want to know where, how much to invest and if you want to move forward. But with the wheel of fortune, it was only because the circumstances are not in your favor right now. You're getting a little, um, I don't know, you know? Why is the temperance in reverse? Queen of swords in reverse, because probably, why is the queen of swords in reverse? Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. I think this person is very angry with you. I think they're very pissed off. They're mad. They're in a very bitter, very vengeful mode. I don't think they expected you to cut them out. And that's what you did. Or right now, they're just very bitter towards you and they just are like, Nowhere on the same page with you. It's like, yeah, you want me to be, you want me to be nice. You want me to cooperate. You want me to compromise. You want me to take the easier path. You want me to stay, let, let's do things in peace. No, their attitude towards you is they're very pissed off. I'm just going to say that. Okay, this is someone very bitchy. They're just very snappy right now, and their words are sharp. Okay, their words can kill. This one, this one will slip your tires. And they'll just do the worst thing that they want, but they'll tell you their words, okay? So they're being very snappy right now. I think this person is not wanting to communicate with you at all because that's their attitude. Although they love you, although they love you and their emotions, they have a lot of love for you. Logically, 
the problem here in their mind is they're being emotionally shut out. They have a lot of hope that this will work out. They're waiting for you. But they're waiting for you. Let me tell you that. Virgo. They're waiting for you. I don't think this person is going to make a move. Because with the two of ones in reverse here, I think this person is still stuck. They're not making a decision. Okay. This is someone either being decisive. I don't think this is decisive. Could be that they made a decision of not communicating with you. But at the same time, I think this person is trying to make a safer choice. For them, it's like, no, you come in. So they're constantly keeping the situation stuck and stagnant. Okay. Again, waiting. Three of ones and two of ones. They have it on their side. So they're the ones waiting. Well, Ace of Cups and Reverse. Five of Cups. See, none of you are wanting to open up emotionally. Okay, Ace of Cups and Reverse is a lot of not wanting to open up, not wanting to be vulnerable. Okay, this is a lot of sadness, depression. This is someone who, you know, probably is losing the faith that there was a connection that they once saw a lot of hope and uh, a lot of potential in, but it's just not turning out the right way. With the five of cups, you have a lot of crying over spilt milk. Both of you or one of you, right? I feel it's you, Virgo, who's holding a lot of grudge against this person, okay? Or this person is holding a grudge against you because with your five of cups, this person is not ready to forgive what happened in the past. This is someone who's crying over spilt milk, trying to invest, wanting to invest their energies in something that is already past, that is already gone, over with. Okay, if you stay in this energy for a very long time, it can tend, it can lead you to depression and that can lead to inaction, which is exactly happening, which is exactly happening. That's why there is, there is still a delay before you start your new beginning in love or before you guys open up to each other. Right now, if you have patience, things will happen. Okay, but you're both being very nasty in your attitudes. At least this person here. Okay, you and your emotions, you want this. Okay, you want this, but you're just trying to get away with it. And this person out here is trying to hold back communication, okay? Because they're just pissed off. Someone's going to have, something's going to give, okay? One of you have got to make this move. One of you has got to make this move. There's a lot of love here. You want something stable. This person wants a new chapter with you. All there. But I think you're cutting communication with them with the Ace of Swords in reverse here. So yeah, someone's got to give, okay? You're both going to stand your ground. It's not going to work out. That's why we still have this in the reverse, okay? It's still a delay. Only because one person is not ready to let go of the past disappointments. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.